Okay, hello guys. I'm Jay and welcome to Trinity. Okay, so today I'm going to introduce some deck. Okay, it's tier 0 deck, Tachyon. Okay, so now Tachyon already went up to tier 0 just the moment it released. In immediately went up to tier 0, super strong, super fast. And now it's on KC Cup and a lot of people are playing with it. Okay, so let us introduce that what is Tachyon and where you can get it. Okay, so it just on the mini box. So that's why it is quite cheap and you need two to three rounds. Okay, so from here you can see that you will need two, uh, one to two Tachyons. Okay, Galaxy Ice Tachyon. So I recommend that minimum you need to go to two rounds at least to get two Tachyons Dragon. Okay, uh, this one is no need to see and then you will need uh Starlich 2 okay and then nebula dragon is the core card over here so you might be needing three two is the minimum three is for consistent play okay so that's the thing you will need these three cards over here for your tachyon stack and then the most important thing is the galactic cards which is on the previous event the misa event so if you miss it then you're not able to play the me you're not able to play the tachyon decks already okay so let us deep dive into the deck structure okay there's a lot of different ways to play it so it totally depends so again same nebula two to three depends and then galactic spiral dragon is from the previous events this so you will need three if you miss it then don't think about diving into Tachyon at all. Okay, so Spiral, uh, Starlit, says, uh, Safer, 1 to 2, 1 is enough sometimes. So you maybe can go for 2, depends, okay. And then Parsec and the uh, Limit Dragon, okay, is depends 2 or 3. It's like, see, my condition is I play with 3, this with 2, you can play with 2, and Limit Dragon go with 3. So it totally depends. So you can play with 6, 6, uh, 6, 3, 3 means, but I think 5, 3, 2 should be enough. Okay, and then Tachyon Transmigration, how you get it? Level up your Miza. I think it's level level 10 or level something, then you can get it already. Okay, then Trade In, yes, to increase the chance for you to get the rest of the tech cards. And then it's the rest is all depends. Effect well, uh, you can go for DD Crow as well. And then MST Bomb, uh, Ice Dragon Prison, Crackdown, everything you can go for it. It all depends on how you want to play. Okay, so the best is either you go for the the best hand traps currently is either you go for the DD, DD Crow or the Effect Valor. I go for two Effect Valor. Okay, I feel that much more needed but dd crow is a very good card as well it all depends if you are facing cards like yeah uh mayakashi shiranui then dd crow will be the best choice if not you can go for effect roller as well it all depends okay so let's go to the extra decks here so extra decks okay c107 the new galaxy tachyon one is announced okay so this is also a Tachyon Dragon. So if you go for this, then you still can use the tra Tachyon Transmigration. Because you can see that if you consider a Galaxy Eyes, Tachyon Dragon. Galaxy Eyes, Tachyon Dragon. Okay. So here is that once per turn, you can detach until end of this turn. Negates all other face-up cards currently. And your opponent cannot activate cards on the field. So it literally locks everything. So if your opponent misses out the chance to activate anything, then you will lock the whole field okay it somehow is much more better than the normal tachyon dragon because the tachyon dragon is better face detach one negate all face up on the field and attack defense become uh, normal during better phase each time if an effect resolve up up 1k and it can attack twice okay so it totally depends on how you want to do if you want to go for straight win so the c10 will be the best but you most probably won't get it on turn 2 because of the effect itself okay so later i will explain that the tachyon dragon dominations what is the effect and what is good about it okay and you must get it okay i think that this one is from the level up as well if not mistaken this is also from the level up so you can go for the tachyon dragon 
Okay, then you can... The rest is totally depends. Okay, Sanafon is good especially you are facing with Mayakashi. And then Shiranui somehow is not so good. Okay, so Sanafon is totally depends. But if you are facing Mayakashi, Sanafon will be an absolute good counter. Summon it down, throw locks everything until end of your opponent next turn means that literally he cannot summon anything because mayakashi will need to keep on summoning from graveyard on the field then link again summon graveyard on the field again and again so with sanafon you literally locks it so it's a very good card to counter okay so galaxy eyes here okay so here is literally for you to go for the cypher go for the full armor break one cards go for the cypher blade break another card so in total can break two cards from here so you can go for it and then dingritsu yes you can send one and then you gain extra protections okay so some player are playing with other xz as well so few of the xz here that you can consider okay so uh Dingritsu one okay so hold on let me settle on something so level eight okay so another the other good level eight would be the coach king if you are play with a lot of tech cards then you maybe will go for the coach king because coach king will allow you to draw thrice okay so coach king is one of the good cards that can play okay and then divine dragon knight this one you need to spend money kaching okay so you can only get this card okay either play a turn you can detach one and then negates their effect so this one is literally is like another effect valor so you can consider to play this as well and then another is the Draglon. Okay, so this is good. This is a combo extender and you can also snatch opponent card. Special summon one dragon monster from your hand. So you summon this, then you literally can summon another dragon because here literally everything is dragon. So Dragulon will be your combo extender. Okay, so another target dragon type control. So here is dragon, 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 dragon. So you can use this to snatch over. So it's a very good card. And then the last card control can dragon type your opponent control can activate the effect on the end of the turn. So this is quite a good card as well. So it totally depends. So you can play with either one of it. So let's back. Transmigration is the Omni Negate, searchable Omni Negates. How you say is searchable. Okay, so it backs to the Tachyon Dragon Dominations. Tachyon Dragon Dominations. Okay, first you need all the requirements over here. So first effect is that you reveal a level 8. Okay, then you can set a level 4 or level 8 onto the field. Okay, so here. Sorry again set one level eight so add one level four or eight monster then set one onto the field so literally this is a search it's a search for your another dragon then the second effect is to return one face up card onto the field then add one tachyon transmigrations that's why i say that it is a searchable omni negates so if you can then if you activate for another turn then you can get the rum magic okay you can get the rum baryon force this is for you to go straight to the C107 Neo Galaxy Tachyon Dragon. Okay, this is the only way for you to go for the C107. Okay, so that's why this skill is important and this is a must use skill. No other skill that can be used on Misa. Okay, so farm for it if you want to play the Tachyon set. Okay, so I will explain on how the combos works next so basically this is how the deck works okay so you can still adjust maybe 21 to 22 cards i think still is okay because this deck is not so easy to break yes it happens but the chances for it to break is not so high it should consider as very consistent turn one turn two also very good okay 
So let's hop in to the tutorial and I will guide you that how to combo for Stilton. Let's go. Okay, so here I will be guiding you step by step on how you to maneuver through the Tachyon's deck, uh, which to activate, which to negate, and what to you do on depends on situations. Okay, so with this, I start off with a mirror match. Okay, going on first turn, so let us see how it goes. Okay, so with this, for this current situation, actually is not so ideal, but this is the minimum you need to start off with the scale. Because with the skill itself, you will need to show a uh, level 8 and then you can set it and then take one cut from the deck to the hand. Okay, but minimally, okay, it's one, but optimum you need 2 to 3 and above. 2 to 3 galaxy eyes, monster, or level 8, not, not necessarily galaxy eyes. Okay, so you activate this, I reveal, at 1 level 4 or level 8. To the hand like monster so with that i adding the starlich to the hand with that and then i set this onto the field okay so with now flip it up getting the starlich starlich activates and then the effect well negates okay this is a good thing because that if i not negates it then I can take another cards from the deck to the hand then most probably will be the nebula dragon so he negates at the right timing <clears throat> so if you are facing with a mirror mesh or anything so negating the star leech will be the best choice okay so now again activate the tachyon return tachyon second skill you can return a face up card to the hand then add uh transmigrations or the rum magic okay so now i set two and third okay so literally this is not a very good start up okay so now again same okay it activates the pack show and get the star leech and then set the parsecs onto the field flip up the parsec summon the star leech okay so this is the thing it doesn't really matter whether you negate Star Leech up front or, and, or during the activations. Okay, there is no difference. Because some of the situations you need to negate before they activate. Okay, situation like this because that when they activate, they discard. You only need to negate. Then it might trigger whatever they need in the graveyard. Okay, but this situation is that Star Leech if they have the galactic on the hand so it doesn't really matter that whether it's in the graveyard or in his head or on his head because star because the galactic uh effect is that you got two monster dark and light on the field then you can special summon it okay so it doesn't really matter so because that you can see while you while this card is in your hand on graveyard so it doesn't really matter whether it's on his hand or the graveyard so if you control two or more light dark and light you can special summon it so if i negate up front he still can summon the galactic from his hand if i negate upon activations he discard the spiral dragon he still can he still can summon back the galactic but you don't need to negate it somehow because this to prevent it from searching the nebula or other monster okay so with this negates so this i prevent it from searching good so with this i say that got two so it will re-summon back the galactic but in order to prevent that since that i already have the ice dragon prison on the field waiting so i just snatch it over and banish okay so you banish the galactic and the starlich will be op will be much more better than you choosing the parsec because parsec doesn't have really effect it's just at a level eight you can trip you can normal summon it without tribute so there will be effect there will be graveyard effect for starlich and graveyard effect for the galactic so banishing them will be the best choice 
Okay, so he returned and get the transmigrations, and then he cannot do anything as well. Same as my current situation. So now I get the limit dragon. So again, the skill is uh once per uh once per turn, twice per deal. So you can activate twice. So with that, I show and summon the limit dragon, and I get the nebula dragon to the hand. Okay. So I flip it up, summon the Star Leech, discard the Nebula. Because you can see the Nebula, you can see. Uh, you can you can banish this card from the graveyard, target one level 4 dark and light, dark or light in the graveyard, add it to the hand. So that's why there's a lot of cards that have graveyard effect, like Star Leech also got graveyard effect. Uh, Galactic got graveyard effect, Nebula got graveyard effect, so you will need to be careful. So with that, is surrender. So that's the basic thing that you need to understand that what situation and what card you need to be aware of, what to banish, what to negate, to stop the Tachyon Dragon from progressing. So let's go on with the other match and then this one is with Alito. I'm not so sure what that is it, but let us dive into it. So let's see. Okay, again, first turn. Uh, for me, I feel that first turn for Tachyon is the best actually. So the, with this, this is a very good hand. I somehow have trade in so I can extra draw two. It's a very good thing. Okay, so Tachyon domination. Okay, trade in, especially if you to discard. Galactic Spiral Dragon will be the best because that it can activate in hands or graveyard. So it doesn't matter is where as long it's not at banished power. Then hands of graveyard, this is okay. So you go for trade in will be the best card with it. Okay, so with that, I set this, I get the Star Leech. Flip it up. Okay. Star Leech, Star Leech, discard this. This one usually you will need to discard it. It's okay. Because it, like I said, it's either on in your hand or in the graveyard. Both also okay. So it doesn't matter where is it, use it. Okay, so with that, I get the Nebula Spiral Dragon up. Okay, then the second effect of the Spiral Dragon is that during a main phase, you can make all monsters you color currently control become level 8. So here, activates, everything becomes level 8. Okay, so I go to the Sunda form. Okay, I activate and return my level 8 to my hand. And then with that, I can activate my Nebula. Okay, Nebula, the condition is that while this... Okay, Nebula condition, you can reveal one and another level 8. So I can summon my Nebula in defense and then summon another Galactic Spiral. Okay, with that, I can straight off to my Tachyon. Okay, so activate the trade in, discard, draw two. With that, I have more choice. Set, activate the sky prison, edit. Nothing, neither player can special summon monster from graveyard until end of your opponent's next turn. Okay, so take it back. And, good. Good all. So, this one is bad. It directly go for with the Galava Golem. Okay, set, 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 set three cards, and then MST. I break the one at the back. Flood gate. Okay, so with that, Lava Golem hit me with a five hundred. Okay, activates the Tachyon's effect again. I can reveal, get one card, summon onto the field. Okay, so I open up with the Stella. So he go on with the Flood gate. But still, you will need to know that I'm not yet normal summon. So with that, I can tribute summon, get my galactic onto the field. Okay, so nebula and then show the galactic. With that, I get another two level eight monster on the field. So total with this, he go in with the book of moon. That's why I say that actually you can also go for the coach king because it's very easy. You can get three level eight monster on the field. So, Coach King will be a very good as well, depends on the situations. So, it flip me down, also no use, I can still go on with the Tachyon and then slap it. 
if I don't 4k I can just go on with the full armor let me win Okay, so let's go on to the next. This one is what? 7 key. So as long that you are familiarized with how to maneuver the deck, actually it is quite easy. And currently because it's tier 0, so a lot of people have been slotting in lots of different tech cards to counter it. Uh, the Mice of Genomes, uh, a lot of Ice Dragon Prison, Crackdown, anything. As long as it allows him to interrupt them, a lot of play people are using that already. So, draw 7 keys is going on with the Stella Union. Okay, this is one of my favorite deck. And I seriously thought that Constella might be tier 1, but luckily, I think that he will survive KC Cup. Effect Roller, Negates. Okay, so with here, this is one of the core cards. Sombra is a core card, so it allows you to take whatever in the graveyard, take it on the hand, summon it down on the normal summon on the field. So you're using Effect Valor directly just to if negates it will be the best choice. Okay, so my turn, I show the Limit Dragon, get the Starlich, summon, flip it down, summon the Starlich. Activate Starlish, discard the Galactic, get the Nebula. Okay, okay, we summon the Galactic, makes everything become level 8. Okay, so I straight off with the Dingritsu. Dingritsu, I can send one card to the graveyard. So I can send whatever things on the back row. So he's going in with the finish change. Okay, so there will be no discard, there will be no send to the graveyard so again i activate the dominations okay so i get the transmigrations onto the field okay so with that i summon the nebula nebula activates and then i summon another galactic so with here i can go for the other card so i go in for the tachyon okay so set activate anything is negated so attack Sombra out. Opponent stun. Okay, so he go on with the Dark Ruler no more. Yes, he's very good because everything on the field will not have their effects activated. So never mind. Rashao. Transmigrations with that. Because Rashao is that you tribute it, you can special summon one Constella monster. So you can resummon back the Sombra. But nope, no, nope. the gates win. So again, show hand, get summon down. Okay, get the interstellar spiral dragon, resummon back. Okay, so with that, I go for the cipher. Cipher, go for the full armor. Full armor again, breaks what face up. Then let's go for another Cypher Blade. With that, I can break another card. So I can break the cards at the back. Drowning. Win. That's why you can see that actually how strong is Tachyon Dragon. Super, very potential. That's why it has a clear win for being tier 0. Okay. So let us review two more match and then I will conclude it. So this is basically how you're going to control the Tachyon deck. It is not it doesn't require a lot of brain power. You just know that you uh what to activate, when to activate, what to set setter. Quite easy this deck. And this is considered is a very easy tier zero deck. Okay, so opponent turns again. So I got the power set two and the trade in. So orchestrate return. So this is fighting with Octus deck. So it's activate the Dark World Dealing. So I need to discard one card. So the harp. Get it. Okay, so Galati. So as normal, if you are playing with the old deck, Galati negates it. Okay, so don't need think so much. In fact, well, just negates the Galati. Okay. So this will prevent it to search for another spell and traps. <clears throat> okay, negates. 
So with that, he's straight on to the decode talker. And then I guess that yes, he can use the, the skeleton, recover the Galati and straight off to the evening star in Great Suit. With that, it able's to prevent another destroy. Okay, so my third. Okay, considering this hand is good, so activate the skill, show hand, summon the Parsec, and then activate the Safer. Summon Safer. Okay, effect Valor negates it, so no choice. Trade in, I take off the Spiral. Okay, I can just normal, I can just use the effect to summon the Spiral, but I wanted to get more resource. So, trade in. Spiral will be the best choice. Okay, Spiral because that I can still activate in the graveyard. That's the thing. That's why it you don't really need it. You got trade in, just use it. Okay, so because that if you control two or more dark and light, so I got two cards on the field. So regardless where is it, is it on the graveyard on the hands, you can still activate the Spiral Dragon. So let's go Spiral Dragon. So you can activate the Spiral Dragon again. Everything's become level 8. Okay, tick level 8. Okay, so I return, get the transmigrations. Okay, again, I go for another trade in draw again. And with luck, I get the Nebula. Very good. Nebula is the core cast over here. Very good. So I first off go for the Dingrid Sue. So Dingritsu, I can send one cast to the graveyard. So I sending the Dingritsu. Okay, so summon the Nebula. Another Galactic. So XZ. Cypher. And then Who Armor. Who Armor, I can destroy. Win. Powerful, right? Very strong. Okay, so let's go to the last match. So basically that this is conclude that how you go into control over the Tachyon. So this is one of the way if you're going for the uh Coach King, there is other playstyle as well, but basically it's also the same way to end the bot. Okay. So let us see Unis. I forget what Dex, uh, wait, okay, so never mind. I'm on first turn, open with a very good hand. So activate the dominations, okay. Show and get the star leech, summon down, okay. So flip up the limit dragons, summon star leech, discard, get the spiral, spiral, summon down. Everything's become level 8. Return, get the transmigrations, and then I straight on to the Tachyon. Okay, so set one and turn. So basically, I have three interrupts one Omni Negate, one Monster Negate, and one Ice Dragon Prison, non targeted vanish. Okay, so activate, activate. I still not going for the transmigrations yet. Okay, so with here. Mm -hmm. So the carrier effect, I think that he's going to fling me back and I'm not able to activate because of the effect. Okay, it is unaffected by activate effect of any monster lower. Okay, your opponent cannot activate cards or effect in response of these activations. So, Tachyons and everything will not able to interrupt it. So hit it with a uh, 2.8. So monolith draw 2. Okay, so my turn. Again, activate since that the skill you can activate twice per deal. Once per turn, twice per deal. So summon. Return the limit dragon. Nebula. And I summon two cards on the field. Summon the nebula. Summon the galactic. Crack down, it was sketching over it, so I straight go to the cypher. Okay, and then photon, photon armor, I will break one cut face up. So I breaking the stealth, the blade, the blade, destroy the crackdown. I get back the monster. 
So set one, set two. You need to remember something before you end because that if you control a galaxy eyes, so you if you don't have Tachyon is okay, but galaxy eyes. You need to see this is galaxy eyes monster. So you can set on the field regardless. Set on the field, you still can activate the transmigration because you have galaxy eyes. So the condition, second condition is that you got galaxy eyes tachyon dragon. Then you can activate from hand. So that's the difference. If you got galaxy eyes, set it, you can still omni negates. If you don't have you have tachyon then don't need set you can just activate from your hand so with that 3.2 just enough to heal okay just enough to slap her back okay so that's it so basically this is how you control on the latest tier zero tachyon okay it's not very it is not science okay so it is quite easy to control just remember that what are the few steps and what things that you can search and you can activate then it should be fine quite easy to control so play a few rounds you will catch you will already familiar with how you're going to control with these decks so how do you feel of this tier zero and what decks you're going to bring in into this season kc cup so truly I will be on Takyon and currently I'm on DLV 17, 3 more to K to DLV Max very fast. So that's it. Appreciate. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and hope that it really helps you all. And then if anything don't understand, can ask at the comment section below and then I'll be seeing you guys in the next video and let's do everyone. See you guys. Bye bye.